Hey everyone, happy Friday. It is May 15th and we are 60 plus days into sheltering at home. Uh, one of the questions we get asked more and more as this proceeds is, how are we doing? And by we, the question is, how is the church doing? How is Slow City Church doing, navigating these changing, unprecedented times? So I wanted to come to you today with just a brief update um, to share with you um, some of the highs and some of the lows of navigating church in the midst of a pandemic. And first thing you have to know is that we have been so proud of our church. We have been so proud of this collection of people that have pulled together in the midst of distancing and job loss and unemployment and all of these things. We have been so proud of the level of connection that we have seen and are continuing to see. We have seen new home groups start in the middle of a pandemic through Zoom. We have seen over 30 plus women gathering together on Wednesday nights on a Zoom call to study the word together, a men's Bible study that is thriving, a middle school ministry that is still continuing to meet together and encourage each other, kids that are still being connected through video and different opportunities through, through Slow City Kids, we couldn't be more proud of our church because we aren't just a church that says we're together. We are, we are, we're a church that's remained together. And in fact, um, you know, when, when this hit, it seemed like this massive obstacle. And it is. There are so many obstacles to tackle. But we always said, like, we want to see the opportunity in the middle of this. And, and our church has seized this moment and seized the opportunity to reach out to neighbors, to reach out to small businesses, um, to invite others to be a part of what God is doing at Slow City Church. And we have seen more and more people connected to Slow City Church at home, our Sunday morning worship experience, online worship experience, than we ever could have imagined. Our, our, um, we, we're trying to track like new, new viewers and different, it's really difficult. But one of the, one of the measuring, measuring sticks that we've kind of um, learned in this process is majority views. And I'm not a numbers dropper, but it's just pretty cool to see that over 500 people a weekend on average have been tuning in to Slow City Church at home. And we're just seeing more and more people get connected that way. That is, that is hope being spread, hope being shared um, by phone calls, by online worship services, by kids um, activities by middle school Zoom hangouts, by small business buyouts. We've just been we've been overwhelmed with that response. Um, financially, um, everybody always asks the question about finan the financials of the church. Are you struggling? Are we struggling? How are we doing? We're doing we're doing well. We're doing well. As you can imagine, um, one of the things that we care most about is not just paying the rent. Is not just making sure we exist, but is is being a generous church that reaches out to our community. And in the past nine weeks, we have, we have raised funds and come under small businesses and church plants um, and nonprofits in our community, Slow Food Bank and Rise and Alano Club, and we've raised over $10,000 in nine weeks that we've given away. Over 25% of what we've brought in has been actually given away um, that wasn't necessarily even budgeted. And that's just remarkable to see that, um, that our church is, is literally the hands and feet of Jesus um, bringing hope to everyone in that way. So thank you for continuing to give. Thank you, we, thank you for continuing to live a generous, hospitable, open-handed life. Our city needs us in this moment, and we just want to continue to walk um, this way. Um, as we navigate the future... And as we navigate the different phases that have been drawn out and the different stages within the phases and then the phases of the stages of the phases, we just want to keep our eyes open. We want to keep our ears open. We are watching the news. We're, we're listening to the encouragements of our governor um, and our city and local officials. And we are, we are not rushing into anything. We're not rushing back into in-person gatherings, but we want to be we want to continue to be wise. We want to continue to be prayerful because um, I know this may sound cliche, but our church hasn't closed. 
Like we haven't, we haven't closed the doors. We've actually opened them wider and we're saying we're going to continue to be the church whether we can gather officially or not. We were, we're going to take some steps and we're working on some, some small steps that we can take when things do open up um, to handle this in the best way possible. Prayerful, wise, um, honoring God, honoring one another, um, honoring the wishes of the authorities in our city and in our state. And so um, be praying for us in that. We Be praying for our church. Be praying for our city. Be praying for our families. Be praying for one another. Um, continue to reach out to one another. Um, we're I, I couldn't be more proud. I couldn't be more excited. I get phone calls from other people around the country saying, man, how are you, how are you guys doing? Like, what's happening? Like, are you guys just barely hanging on? I'm like, man, I, I got to tell you, like, I see God doing something special in the midst of all of this at, at Slow City Church and in San Luis Obispo and the surrounding cities and region. And, um, and I'm proud to be a part of a church like this. I don't know about you, but I am so thankful for the church in this season. So thankful for the friendships. So thankful for the generosity. So thankful for the purpose and the meaning and the direction and the hope that we have that we can share with others. And I'm excited for the future. We don't know what it looks like. We don't know when things are going to happen, but we know we're going to take one step at a time. So thanks for being in this with us. Um, and for following along. If you have more specific questions, you can email me di- directly at brent at slowcity.church. I'd be happy to meet with you over Zoom or outside at a social distance um, up at Laurel Lane. Um, would love to answer any questions that you have. Hope you have a great Friday and a great weekend. Um, Kyle Eidelman is here this Sunday. We can't wait to see you there. Slow City Church at home. Love you guys. See ya.